Oh, uh, are you paying attention? To yes. <laughs> I'm just wondering what the hell they're paying you for if you don't talk to they her. Don't, they don't pay me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> neither, do the, neither do the people that she works for. <laughs> <laughs> it's acting like you made it in the garage. <laughs> really just a super genius. <laughs> but she's from Pennsylvania. No. <laughs> See? Now that, what, do? Uh, that caught me. <laughs> they did. They caught me before I just, you know. Now, the only problem I feel is right on the bottom of the stump she might be pulling just a tad. Okay. But you got the back of it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need, is it, is your, is your sock sliding down? I don't know, it could, yeah, it could be, I don't know if it is or not. Okay, maybe you, maybe you should put a little powder in there or something. Or, maybe I'll let, see I put a valve in there this time, do you feel any air going? Ooh. No. Okay, when you walk with a sock on and a Tez belt, you know, every time you lift the leg up, the leg comes off a tiny bit, right? And therefore, no, not this one, ain't. Okay. This one, this one here, it's there. All right. And well, that's a good thing. And then, um, but do you feel any air going in and out of the socket? No, and I get so embarrassed when I'm out. And you always come and you go to sit down and just stand. Up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you're looking around to see if anybody's looking at you, you know. Well, that's when you look at somebody else and you stare at them. I do it. I do, I, I do it my mom all the time. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to pick a family member. You pick somebody else. <laughs> yeah, he's speeding right up there. Yeah, that was good. Well, I knew I knew he would pick this up quick. Yeah, I mean, just that transition from in the bars to um, I'm not sure to <laughs> yeah. Let's ditch that it's not even 45 minutes later. That's awesome. Can you walk in figure eight? What? Figure eight. So pick this block here and this one here, and then I want you to walk a figure eight around this one and then back around this one. Could you do that in your old day? What the hell are you, nuts? Yeah. Let's go. Come on. You want me to do what now? Figure eight. So walk around this one. So pretend like someone's standing here and then walk around that one. You know, the shape of an eight. <laughs> cool. Really? Really? It's no fun. But, you, but could you do that easily in, in your old prosthesis? Those oh, short I, little steps. Well, I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. <laughs> Well, first of all, since we're men and we function basic logically, lot with logic. Are you saying I just, don't? Well, <laughs> I'm not going to get this in. You already know how I feel. I know I'm on video here. Yeah. Yeah, you better just let this go. <laughs> no, the goal of doing that is just to show you how well that knee reacts in small steps. So if you're, you know, working in the kitchen doing dishes or I don't do, I, I don't do dishes. If you're working near your car. Or I don't work on my car. I got my cans. Lawn mowing I, in small areas around I, the bush or something I, like that? I ride the lawn more. All right. Um, but I do work on what I do. I do weed eat. There you go. So <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so just to show you what it does in those small steps, it's going to be there. It actually, you're getting, it's bending as opposed to a lot of other, you would all, almost have to pick up and, and move it like this. Right. Where you're actually, oh, oh, I see what you're talking about. to flex as you're moving in a circle. I see what you're talking about. So it's less stress on you. And more right. natural movement. Absolutely. And less stress on your spine. Because mm -hmm. every time you were doing, you know, doing that. Right. Just, you know that's torquing up here. Okay. It's a lot on, a lot on the hip. You know. so, what, so what do you think, Mike? I like it. I do too. I like it. I really don't. I really don't have a complaint. I don't think. Now we, I set that up thirty-two and a half, which is what his other leg was from the skin to the floor, mm -hmm. and I made this one exactly the same length, and then I still lengthened it.
probably not quite a quarter inch. So That's big. we're going to have to do the pylon deal in there for him. I'm going to okay. change that pylon. All right. And uh, that's not a big deal because I already had this pylon. So, um, but I would like to see him back here. I mean, let's assume he's going to take this leg home today. Then I want to see him back, you know, like in a week. You know, okay. just, you know, tell me what you think. The charger is in the other room, and it's going to be just like your cell phone. As far as I'm concerned, you never have to shut that off, correct? That's what, that's what she was saying. Just plug it in at night. If you miss a day, it'll still be okay, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It typically will hold a charge for up to three days, depending on how vigorously you use it. But I always tell users, charge it every night like a cell phone. That way you know for sure that it's going to keep charged. When you, lose that, when you start to lose the battery, the knee will be annoying. It'll beep. I don't know if you heard people when did that, but it also right. vibrate as well. Could you feel that? Um, but it'll it'll let you know the battery's gonna go dead. Then what happens if you lose charge on this altogether? We might right. actually have you walk with it off. You just you can still walk on it because it's a free swing knee. Right. It's probably what he's used to being on. You want to make sure it gets all the way out. You fire the, the hamstring, pull back, and kind of go over right. top of it. So you can still use it when the knee is off, or you know if you should lose battery, so you can still use it. Um, but it's not, you're not going to be able to do one of these leading to it and it's not going to hold it because there will be no resistance. Right. So, before he leaves today, let's have him walk with it off, so. Yep. Are, you pleased, are you pleased with this knee, the way this knee's working now, Mike, as far as? Um, I like it. It's altogether different than the way you walked before. Yeah. Did you used to, when you walk, I mean, you've been doing it for a long time. Do you get, and I know you get up early in the morning, right? And then you, whatever you do every day. Well, do you I don't get know. fatigued you, by a certain time of day, like by two or three in the afternoon? Are you kind of getting tired of walking and stuff? Well, again, now if you think early, it's 10 o'clock in the morning when I usually get up. About 10, 10 30, I get up. She uh, had uh, to make it here on time. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, uh, in, in answer to your question, I'd say yeah. So, two or three in the afternoon, you get kind of fatigued. Mm -hmm. Because you struggle to walk to carry that leg around all day. Right. So, let's see now. You tell me next week if by two or three in the afternoon you don't feel better. You don't right. feel better. Cause you, you, because hopefully you don't have to wrestle an artificial limb around now. You still got to carry it around with you for sure, but you don't have to fight it. Right, I see what you're talking about. Right. Okay, and typical when people put on the proprial foot or the real knee, that's one of the things they notice. Right. That, I don't know why, but all of a sudden it's three in the afternoon, I feel like I can keep going. Right. And the other thing that I like about this here, you, my pamphlet don't, don't get caught in here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Where on this one here, it, it did. Yep. And 99 times out of time when that happens, you're, you're right or you'll know how much weight you can put towards that. You don't understand, ma'am. You could have hurt Johnny. I didn't. Oh, I don't know. Come on, almighty. Jesus, that thing locked right up on me fast. Come on into here. Oh, you didn't win. You warned me. I didn't mean to warn oh, you. <laughs> God. So what I'm trying to get you to learn by doing that is you can put... No, what you're trying to do is hurt me. <laughs> I'm not trying to hurt you. So if okay. you put even weight between both, that way you can, get, you can lower down and it's going to help to save your, your good knee. So you so you got to sit down slow. You can't sit on fast. Right? You can do both. You can do either or. But what I'm, it's another feature of this knee that if you choose to use it, you can. You can ride it down. You basically ride it down into the chair. Okay. That was better. Oh, smooth. <laughs> Don't get excited. <laughs> See that? That's a lot better. So what I'm trying to determine is if there's enough resistance. If you want more or less, those are things that we can control using the computer. So if you want more resistance, if you want to take forever to sit down, we can make it take forever. If you want it to go faster, we can make it go faster. No, I think right about right about right where was that would be. Yeah, you know, it would be it good. It looked good. It is just a matter of you know that first one. God, you going to hurt me, Mike. Jeez. God. Erica tells you. I'm not going to do much. Yeah. Wait till another time. What's that? Walk with that? No, stairs.
Yeah. Does he do? Do you do them in the other prosthesis, or is that mm -hmm. a goal? What kind of a part? What, what's your house like, Al? Do you live on a flat surface, or do you have stairs to go up? Your house? Are you serious? <laughs> I live in a condominium. What in the daylight are you talking about? An apartment. God almighty. An, an apartment. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. See? So? So yeah. we have to go upstairs or do you no. have stairs inside? It's all, it's all, it's it's all one level. Yeah. Okay. 